stuff that we're getting into, right? We don't really have no basic idea or concept of how to deal with the justice system, right? A lot of us are so naive. Yes. Um, and a lot of people get caused to admit to something that they didn't do, mm -hmm. right? And then you got to go through the system and be someone that you really don't want to be just in order to survive, mm -hmm. right? Like you served 22 years. What was that like for you? Well, I mean, not, like I said, I can't, I, I couldn't even think that far down. 22 years later, that's like, I, I probably could have thought maybe a week or two weeks later. Yeah. But I basically was in shock, maybe, when I first got in. I mean, I think when he said 22 years, when the judge said 22 years, I probably, like, just looked through him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I didn't even cry, but I cried when I got you know, yeah, of course. back and I cried in the The delayed the reaction. Island. You know, you know, everybody know what happened. Everybody come back to the house. I'm, I'm, like, I'm just done. Mm -hmm. But I was still in shock even after I came up state. You know what I'm saying? All right. So how did you manage your time while you was in there? Like, what, what did you do? The first couple of years, I know it's like learning process. You're just trying to adapt, trying to just keep your head above water, just trying to freaking survive. Like survival mode just kicks in now, right? Yeah. Because I, I talk to a lot of people, and I know that when people talk to me, they go, "How did you do 22 years?" Right? And I go, "Listen, when you when you're sentenced to whatever amount of time, nobody wants to do the time, yeah. but when you're sentenced to it, for some reason, we adapt." And we learn and we have to come to the understanding and, and, and figure out, you know what, it ain't going to go nowhere. They're not going to wake up tomorrow and say, you're released, you got to do the time. Now, how can I do this time to be either productive or be destructive? Mm. Like when we decided to be destructive while doing this time, we add more time on top of that time because we don't see the end of the original time we're supposed to do. That's a question. That's a fact. I, so, so I say like... Um, Initially, I, like I said, I was in shock, so it was really about just survival and, you know, you just go off of what you hear, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I experienced Rikers Island in 90, 94, you mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? So it was just a whole different environment. And so while I was there, I was just, you know, I was just fortunate that I had a grandmother who was connected, you know, you know to people who ran the school. Mm -hmm. And so they would allow her to come to the school area and, you know, she was always the one that, like, pushed me for school. Right. So I wound up getting my GD while I was on Rikers Island. Nice. However, um, there, I mean, it's it's just it's just like you just had to move in a way that you had to always be prepared for violence.